<laughs> How you doing, officers? Excellent. Hey, man, we're getting some parking complaints. Oh, you see me to move? Yeah. No problem. I'm sorry. I was just here for the Anytime Fitness. Okay. And uh, happy to move on. I'm just going over to Walmart. Yeah, so. that's fine. Just because this guy, I mean, we got... Yeah, when I, I got here a few hours ago and the, the lot was almost empty. Okay. So I apologize for any yep, inconvenience. Fine, just, you know, somewhere else. Just, and if you do park, just don't block a ton of spots. No problem. Walmart, I see a bunch of trucks and stuff. Always sure. Park there, I have so. to ask their permission, though, because those semis are... I'm, I'm going to shop at Walmart and I'm moving on. Yep. We got an yeah. event here tonight. Yeah, just make sure we're, in, know. we're in Des Moines on a national book tour. If you guys don't know, you're streaming live on Facebook. I know you guys, you guys are wearing cameras, too. That's oh, awesome. Sure are. So, film, so. I, I appreciate your professionalism and your courtesy right. today. Okay. Can I give you a copy of my book? It's about freedom. You guys love freedom, right? I mean, is that is that what you guys Absolutely. defend here? Can I give you a copy of my book? It's just you want to give it's a copy free. Of your book? Awesome, please. Can you come, come here for just a second? So, I hope you guys will uh, consider the message of freedom. And what it means for humanity moving forward, especially in your profession, well, when you guys are uh, where the rubber meets the road with government, you are the application of force right. of government. Well, good luck. And I hope you'll consider. Well, good luck on your tour, drive safe. All right. Well, I hope, I hope you'll consider how this is a message of ethics, and that you guys are really the most important point in society, where you know the the, the paradigm within the community of, of what Absolutely. should be ethics is carried out by force. And I think especially for you guys, it's really important to understand this message. So Perfect. thank Have you very much. Day. Appreciate it. Have, Have a good day. Right. Good luck. All right, everybody. Well, that was uh, our police encounter for, uh, for the day. And we are moving on to the next parking spot. And uh, let's see, can I turn my camera around here? I can. All right. So I'm going to keep talking for a while since I got everybody here on Facebook Live. Sorry about the vertical on this. I still have one cop here. Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here in Des Moines, Iowa with a little follow-up video to that last spontaneous live that we did. I was actually sitting in a parking lot in my trailer, the Freedom Mobile, outside of an Anytime Fitness and a military recruitment center. So I was actually chilling, making some phone calls, having a little snack after working out and uh, was going to go talk to the recruiters actually and see if I could get one of the military recruiters there, hopefully the Marine, yeah, going for the Marines first, uh, that they would <laughs> uh, you see if I could have a conversation with them on Facebook Live and start that conversation, get them to take a copy of the book. And uh, if we have time, I might go back, but I'm, I'm at Walmart, I gotta run a couple errands here and we've got an event tonight in Des Moines at uh, six o'clock, I'll be going on, giving my speech at seven. If you can be in Des Moines, Iowa tonight, or know someone who is, send them the link, thefreedomline.com slash calendar. And, uh, and let's see, you got some comments here already. So this is kind of just a follow-up to our last video, obviously, with that spontaneous uh, police interaction. A. Reinhardt was just thinking about how you reacted when you got locked up versus Cuckwell Crybaby. Aw, the crying Nazi. Uh, do it, I want to see it. Yeah, okay, so one of these days on the tour, we'll go in, and we'll have a chance, and we'll talk to uh, we'll talk to some military recruiters and have some some really interesting conversations there. Oh, and AJ Ditmar in Iowa, of course, is watching us right now. AJ, looking forward to seeing you soon, either tonight in Des Moines or tomorrow in Cedar Rapids, I hope. And um, I just wanted to take advantage of this little moment here to, uh, by the way, first of all, apologize for, for the vertical video instead of the horizontal. I was just like, I started, I was in a rush. There's c cops knocking on the door. And um, I won't say what else was happening in the trailer at that moment, but you can use your imagination. And uh, yeah, I need, to get, I need to get psyched up before going and talking to military recruiters. So I was like, I was totally shocked, surprised. I'm in my shorts, I didn't have a shirt on because it's, it's hot here in Des Moines. And uh, they're like, I'll oh, just come out in your shorts. I'm like, uh, no, that's, that's not going to happen. First of all, I'm not going to come out until I have my live stream going, but I got my live stream going and I went outside and I talked to the cops and I hope you guys see, uh, what, what is, I, I think a better attitude for talking to cops than, you know, what I've done in the past is being confrontational. I don't mind, you know, being confrontational. Um, and I don't, and, and by confrontational, I, I don't mean, 
uh, confronting them with truth and logic and reason and love and compassion, but you know, confrontational in a, in a in an aggravational way or an adversarial way, being being uh, friendly and cooperative and collaborative with police, um, it, at least on an individual basis, certainly not on an institutional basis, but um, being able to reach out to them in a way that might have a lasting positive effect. So. Uh, that was really cool, and, and I hope uh, if you guys go back, you can see the video Macy and I did from two years ago now, uh, almost two and a half years ago, when we were in Albuquerque on the, the first National Freedom Tour, and the video is called Peace the Police. So anyway, I think that's a much better attitude to have towards statists in general, uh, or even unethical people, or people who are dealing with mental health issues, to so just be kind and loving and compassionate. Uh, every chance you get. So um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to respond to some of these comments here in, in, in a minute and, and answer some questions if you like. But um, I want to talk for a second about video and, and video promotion. There's a new website called DTube, and it's a add-on to Steam it, which I've been involved with and, and had a, a really important blog post there last week. If you want to check that out, please look me up at Adam Kokish on Steam it. And I'm thinking. This might be the time when I get to just demonetize my YouTube channel and say, fuck it, fuck the Google machine, fuck the corporate structure, fuck this YouTube corruption and, and working on a platform that's owned by people who supported Hillary Clinton as opposed to one that is essentially owned by the users of the technology that is the blockchain that is behind Steemit. So I'm thinking um, I might do a daily video, just something like a, a five to ten minute talk, presentation, like... Uh, my ideas on current events or anything else, um, or, or like a vlog style, uh, you know, fresh video specifically for DTube five days a week. And then, of course, post it everywhere else, post it on Facebook, post it on YouTube, post it, you know, but also take our YouTube videos off of Facebook, off of YouTube and move them over to DTube so they're actually backed up on the blockchain. I mean, how cool is that? And of all the times that, that I, I've, I've been like, oh, crap, my video archive is on YouTube, you know, if they just wanted to disappear all that stuff, I don't have it backed up, you know, um, some of it. But, hey, if you if you want to go and, like, archive all my YouTube videos right now, the good ones anyway, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Rip, repost, because, you know, we can't trust the, the online establishment. And it's been this interesting reality check for the Internet to watch how over the last maybe decade that you know we went from thinking oh my god the internet it's this open source beautiful blah 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 and then you go no with american corporatism it's still subject to monopoly bullshit right and a lot of the control with google and youtube obviously the same corporation and facebook and twitter even like banning certain people uh we don't have uh, you know that the 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 true free speech platform, the internet itself yet. But the wake up call that's been coming over the last 10 years or so of the internet's existence is now coming to fruition with Steemit, with DTube, with other blockchain technology. It's incredible. So I, I'm just figuring out, you know, what's my role in this as a content creator, as a media producer, as a voice of freedom, as an advocate, as a candidate running for president in 2020 on the platform of the peaceful, orderly, responsible dissolution of the entire United States federal government in order to finally free America because America is too good for this government. But anyway, uh, let's see. I'm getting to some comments here. Mike Meldrum, J Downloader can download almost anything like YouTube videos or audio. Also, if it's your account, there's a download link for each video in your video manager and YouTube. Oh, cool. I didn't know that about YouTube. Pamela Parlin, say my name. Say my name. Pamela Parlin, Pamela Parlin, Pamela Parlin. Oh, did, no, okay, didn't work. Brian Ellison, on my way home. Awesome. Jonathan Magnell, ain't nothing. Uh, or I will cry myself to sleep, says Pamela. Well done. Edward Butler, yes, Jay Downloader is a good one. Daryl Wayne, as with the highways, the web should be owned by the people. Ben Farmer, getting ready to run. Oh, excuse me, getting ready to run. No, no, I am running in 2020, Ben. So I'm not running now. I am running in 2020. Isn't that nice? Uh, let's see, Michelle Cresty, hello from Australia, Kyla DeForge, hi Adam, Pamela Parlin, love you, yes, you too, David Serfozo, great quote, America is too good for this government, thank you, David, if I go down in history for one thing, America is too good for this government, this is the final American revolution we are making happen here, so, 
Oh, people are talking about McGregor. David Smith, McGregor did all right. I didn't get into that. It was a fun fight to watch, though. All right, I'll say that much. Charlie Jackson, if I were in the USA, I would help you in your presidential campaign. Adam, so you have my support from England. Charlie, hey, I got some great news for your brother. We are coming to England next fall for the European Freedom Tour. If you want to help out with that, please send me an email, adam at thefreedomline.com. We are looking for someone. We have, uh, for each of our events, to be the main host. We have the dates laid out 40 cities in three months all over Europe so Charlie please you can't donate to my campaign because it doesn't exist yet legally but you can support my nonprofit you can support all that work there Timothy Gregg tell us news about Freedom Ranch no don't tell me what to do actually I can't for legal reasons right now and my road yes we have a road there God bless sir thank you Daryl Kieran Pearson kick that shit decentralize everything that's what we're working on brand miller come speak in myrtle beach south carolina i don't think we're getting that close to myrtle beach but hey i'm open to every invitation we can make something happen dominic easton what's going to be your three main talking points in 2020 that's really easy dominic because america is too good for this government we are going to neutralize it privatize it and localize it and when we do we will finally free america how do you like them apples? So, uh, let's see. Uh, Angela Vance will be my sidekick. Awesome. Well, where are you? We got we got empty seats here in the car. Well, one right now. Um, Chet Payne is with us. Awesome. Great to see you, Chet. Sherry Voluntary. Adam, is someone looking to start a YouTube channel? Which other platform do you think would be best for a beginner? Oh, you know, I wish I could say I was an expert, but I just told you, like, my thinking, my strategy on this is I want to use all my existing platforms and do live on Facebook and on YouTube and on Periscope and on Instagram to, to funnel everything to my website, thefreedomline.com, because that's the only thing I can really control. Even my email list has been uh, fucked with. And you can see my blog post about that on Steam and if you want to see why constant contact is evil. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be trying to focus on DTube. I think DTube is, uh, you know, I don't know that it's where it's at. I don't know. So, if, if Sherry, when you're asking for advice from me, to say it should be this or that, like, I don't know. But what I'm doing is I'm throwing some of my weight now and what I can with my video production efforts to supporting DTube. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going for. So Chris Parrish, for the government is here to help. No, it's not. Brian Ellison, is the Philly event worth the nine hour drive? For the end of Fed, yes, that could be a lot of fun. For my event in Philly, nah, there's probably one uh, closer to you. Pamela Parlin, I want to help in Ohio. That's awesome, we're gonna be in Ohio in a couple weeks and we need a lot of help in Ohio. Uh, Cole Thompson, don't run Dance for Non-President 2020. Hey, well, you know what? We're having our official announcement, Independence Day 2019, on the steps of the Jefferson Memorial, and there will be dancing. So, Chet Payne, so glad the road pirates didn't kidnap you, bro. Uh, Chris Parrish wants to know who will be your running mate. No idea. Pamela Parlin, are you getting that felony squashed anytime soon? No, but I figure if we dissolve the federal government, I could get my gun rights back. So that's one nice perk of that. Ashley Bostic, are you still coming to Baltimore in October? Yes, all the links and details there. Kevin Ciccini, can you speak at my university? Mr. Checkpoint, yes. Um, let's make it happen. Uh, let's see. Danny Sesum is with us. He's in Arkansas Pass? Or Aransas Pass? Is that a typo? Anyway, Sherry Voluntary, thank you. You're very welcome. Jonathan Magno, last one here. If you want to be more interpersonal like this, your charisma is good and stuff and junk, but you need to sing! Uh... From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. All right, we'll leave it at that for today. Oh, Ben Farmer. Yes, I was about to do this before signing off. Ben says, please remind us to join, uh, join, please remind people to join us on your Facebook Live at 6 p.m. Central Time where we'll be discussing how you're helping victims of the Texas flood. Yes, Ben, thank you for the reminder. Thank you for putting that together. It is, oh, my car battery died, so my, my clock's not working. If I turn this, well, no, I can't see my clock. Anyway, yes, at 6 p.m. Central, I, I guess it's about four or something right now. So in just a couple hours, we run some errands, take care of some business, and we are organizing a flood relief effort for Texas because everything is bigger in Texas and we love our Texan supporters and we are going to be there and we want everybody to be nice and dry by the time we get to Texas in November. So thank you very much for everybody who has tuned in today and who will tune in later this evening and tomorrow and all of our future broadcasts supporting American freedom. Peace, love, and screw the government.